Greetings and salutations all. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and download and install Visual Studio Code for Mac OS. To begin, open up your favorite web browser and go to code.visualstudio.com. Once you're there, go ahead and click on the Download Mac Universal Stable Build. That will cause a new page to open saying, thanks for downloading VS Code for Mac. And then in the lower left-hand corner, you can see that there's this uh, file that's downloading. Notice that it's a .zip. So if I go ahead and I click on this installer file or this zip file, what will happen is I have this archive that's going to unpack the Visual Studio Code application. So we downloaded this .zip, and when we clicked it to launch it, we ended up getting this Visual Studio Code application. It's very important that we take the Visual Studio Code application by clicking and then dragging it to where we see our applications um, uh, area in our favorites to install Visual Studio Code. So again, what we want to do is we want to click on Visual Studio Code, drag to applications and place it right there. Once we're done with that, we also want to go ahead and delete in this case, uh, the dot .zip, uh, so that we don't have extra space on our computer. Now, the next step that we have is we want to go over to Spotlight in the top right, and what we want to type is VS space code, and we want to go ahead and press Enter, where we see that Visual Studio code to launch the application. Now, just like before, again, note that this is an internet application. We do have to say that we want to open it by just clicking on that open button and then VS Code uh, should launch. Once it launches, it's going to give you this uh, guide for sort of picking um, how you want your editor to look. So here, if we switch over to light from dark, notice how the color scheme changes greatly. Um, I personally prefer the dark color scheme instead of the light one uh, because I'm normally coding and working a little bit at night. So you'll see me operate more in the dark uh, theme. Now, the other part here um, is there's a few other parts that you can do. So you can sort of sync settings if you have settings, um, uh, which means that you probably have already used Visual Studio Code. So this video might be a little overkill. Um, the other part here is you can use a command palette uh, to sort of uh, figure out different command options. So if I go ahead and I click this open command palette, oops, there we go. You can sort of see a series of English looking commands alongside of over here, uh, some shortcuts. So if I want to show call hierarchy, I'd have to hold the shift key, then I'd have to hold, I think, option, and then H. Um, and you can sort of see the, if you mouse over it, uh, the symbols are converted into actual keys. So going a little bit more down, um, we get to this rich support for all your languages, which means that you have a bunch of different uh, language extensions. We'll talk more about these in another video. Um, so if we go down over here, uh, you can sort of open up your code. Um, that is, you can uh, start to immediately code things. What I'm gonna do is instead of going uh, and opening up um, uh, a file here, I'm just going to go up and select terminal in that menu up above and press new terminal. And what will happen is down below, we should see a terminal up here. So what I can do here is I can very quickly uh, just uh, say echo, and then here what we'll say is PDW, which means you know the um, working directory that we're currently at. So in this case, we're sitting right inside of the user area. That being said, uh, this is Visual Studio Code. Um, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.